How's everybody doing? Just wanted to thank everybody for contributing to the conversation in the comments uh, over the last four or five videos. Uh, it's encouraging uh, to see so many people interested in what I'm doing. Um, I'm in the middle of a awesome bathroom remodel. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, you should because I'm uploading pictures daily to Instagram of this uh, 1940s bathroom remodel. Uh, it's never been remodeled except for some peel and stick, um, what are those things, v vinyl squares. You can take a look over here. All that uh, is oak hardwood flooring that was in the bathroom since 1941. And now it's firewood. So what you see here, um, I, I made this template uh, while I was at the house today and brought it home uh, so I could transfer it onto the sheet of plywood. In old houses, they didn't have uh, a subfloor that you may be familiar with. They had diagonal three quarter inch by eight inch planks that go across the floor joists. And you can't set tile on there. And there is a, a handbook out there that, that tells you what you're supposed to use all things tile. Their minimum requirement is a half inch plywood over the top of that, glued and screwed. So that's what I'm working on at, at home tonight. Uh, pretty much done with it. I just uh, cut this out on the plywood. The bathroom floor is actually exactly four feet by eight feet. The video you're going to see now I recorded a while ago and kind of forgot about it. It got placed in another video file folder and just stumbled across it the other day and so I thought I'd throw it up for you on a Sunday morning. You might get some use out of it. You might get some entertainment out of it. Oh, it is Super Bowl Sunday and I'm on my way to give an estimate. Um, it's, it's only three o'clock in the afternoon. So I should be able to see some of the game tonight. Um, wanted to talk to you about estimating jobs and why I'm a strong advocate of not having an hourly rate or at least a publicized hourly rate that you tell your customers or if someone were to call you you would tell them I charge $85 or $105 an hour whatever it is. The reason I don't charge by the hour is because I charge at the top 10% of what the market will allow. Um, if I'm just talking to someone on the phone and I tell them, yes, I charge $150 or $200 an hour, they're going to be like, oh, goodbye. <laughs> now, if I tell them, well, I, do not, I don't charge by the hour. Um, I do every job uh, as an estimate, as a real project. I t you know, t take a look at the material costs and I need to get my eyes on it to tell you how long it's going to take and I'll give you a fixed price and that price won't change, period. One reason I do that is because of the sales part. Every industry has salesmen and most of the time those salesmen get paid more than their managers because that's what it takes to make a business grow and stay profitable is you have to have sales. You have to sell your product or your service. Where do you learn how to be a salesman? Um, there's a lot of seminars you can go to. Uh, I was fortunate enough to work for two Fortune 50 companies um, before I went into being self-employed as a handyman. And these companies would hire, um, well JD Powers and Associates was one of the big ones and they would come to us, to our city, they would give us classroom time with just me and my co-workers, which was maybe 35, 40 other guys and a teacher that teaches us the ins and outs and the tricks of customer service. Um, and this was not just one seminar. Every single month, we would either have uh, like technical training for different uh, products or we would have customer service and sales training and what that some of those is like personality profiling and how to categorize the people how to I mean it, it went very in-depth year after year after year I got real good at customer service and the sales portion of it because 
90% of our bonus, which was around 30,000 a year, was based off of one question on a specific survey. I've implemented everything I've learned to my business, and that's why I don't have to advertise. I have zero advertising, no signs, no stickers, no magnets. That crazy guy's talking to himself. No. Um, if you don't have that, haven't had that opportunity in the past with your your past employer, um, you still can learn some of this stuff, uh, especially the sales. There are a lot of seminars that are published on the internet. They're not always on YouTube. You got to scour the inter internet uh, to find it. Uh, there's a lot of audio books that uh, you can pay to get. I actually found them for free. That was mostly for my sales, polishing my sales techniques. There are a few core principles in everybody's sales system. Um, these guys that, and these companies that specialize in giving these seminars and teaching people how to be more productive in their sales, closing sales. You know, I spent a good solid month every night just searching and searching and searching. And one search would lead to another search would lead to another search. I watched and listened to, I don't know, at least a dozen high quality seminars or audiobooks. They all had uh, these core principles in common. Listen to them all back to back, you can you easily see the pattern. So I was able to adapt these sales techniques that were really designed for other industries, not a uh, self-employed handyman. Uh, so I was able to adapt them to my business, closed so that I could be uh, more successful. And I did double my income in one summer. I, I mean, I made so much money, I was like, this is crazy. Um, I did, uh, I do relax my sales techniques on repeat customers. But if I get a new customer, that's when I polish my sales technique. Because I'm so busy and I have such a good network, I never ever have to worry about running out of work. So it's just a basically practice on making more money. Can you tell I'm not a fan of hourly rates and working by the hour? One other thing I wanted to touch on for people who feel lost and they're trying to figure out the, the game, the business game, not just how to replace toilets and windows, but the business game. There are a lot of people who want to sell you a shortcut. Come do my course on how to be a handyman. My channel gets spammed nonstop by this one website that wants to sell you a book on how to be a handyman. And I went and I checked it out and it is a complete joke. There is no shortcut. You have to put in the work yourself. You have to have the self-discipline to scour the internet, find the resources that successful people have already used. Major businesses invest heavily in sales training and they don't do it by some fly-by-night uh, website on how to you know sell the Brooklyn Bridge I'm gonna try to come up with a list of books that I'll put in the description if I can track them down and, and get time um, these are well-known authors that are professionals in their field and they are highly paid because they get results I suggest that you read the books you watch the lectures um, you can fire up your old peer-to-peer -peer file sharing programs and find most all of it for free. You know, uh, if you're on tough times and don't have the money to, to purchase them. Sales is where it's at. You got to be making a lot of money to be self-employed. And, and a lot of people have been commenting, holy cow, I would be rich if I charge what you charge. And I haven't done too much of a video on it, on the cost of being self-employed, but you can figure on 50% of what you charge a customer is what you get to keep. That's what the money that goes in your hand, about 50%. The rest goes to just the cost of operations, taxes, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Other stuff being paid vacation. Uh, as an example, uh, my wife earns 24 hours a month of free vacation. So every month she gets 24 hours. Here's 24 hours. And that's just part of her compensation package on top of her, her salary. So you gotta think 
the big picture if you want to be a professional. You want to compete at a professional level and earn a professional wage. You have to treat it like a professional business. A lot of guys still asking, how do you price, how do you price, how do you price? I usually just went off my experience. I've started using some software that has streamlined the estimating process. What it has done is given me more time in the day and it generates a very professional looking estimate for your customer. In a future video, I'll go into a little bit more detail on what this estimating software is and a little bit about how it works. So if you got more questions, put them in the comment section and it's up to you to do your own research. There is no shortcut. That's it.